Hey everybody, uh, it is March of 2020, and as many of you know, there is a, a current pandemic of the coronavirus, and yesterday I posted a video about um, growing our own provisions and, and going out to the country. It was a somewhat of a, a satirical video uh, where I plucked toilet paper off the tree because uh, there's a great toilet paper shortage for whatever reason. reason. But really, we, we are able, if we're out in the country, to have the freedom and the opportunity to grow our own food and, and to be more self-sufficient and to grow our own provisions. And so that's what we are going to do and that's what uh, we're gonna be showing you. We got a couple of projects that we're gonna be working around here. Now, many of you are probably aware that we were planning on having a, an evangelism program, an evangelism training, and that has been at least postponed for now. We are sending out some uh, flyers for Bible studies that we're going to be following up. I think a lot of people are going to be open right now to receiving, you know, Bible studies. And so we want to definitely capitalize off of that. But uh, yeah, we're probably not going to go and, and actually visit the people till hopefully another couple of weeks. Here basking in the sunshine are all of our starter seeds. We got some tomatoes, some cucumbers, some zucchini, some kale, some beets some basil, some broccoli, and other things that we're going to be planting. Now it's been really overcast lately, so I had to get some of these grow lights right here. They're about 10 bucks at Home Depot. If you can see right there, our plants, they started to grow, but their stems started getting a little bit long because they were trying to shoot up as high as they could in order to get sunlight, and so that weakens them. Maybe you can see these ones a little bit better. Look how tall those things are. That's not really the best thing for them. So we had to get some grow lights and we're trying to get them some sunshine to get them started so we can plant them in the garden. So I'm gonna show you where our garden spot is and uh, what else we got planned. All right, this is the land that we have to work with here. Got a couple of acres and right now you see we have a couple of fence posts up. We dug those. But uh, we're going to be putting our garden in right here. I figured right here is a good spot because the grass is really growing, so the soil must be a little bit better. As I said, we're not the most experienced, but we are going to try our best to grow some food. So these uh, fence posts were here at the property when we first got here, so we're uh, going to be reusing those and there's some barbed wire, but we're gonna try to make it work to keep the animals out. We do have one tree on the property, one fruit tree. This is a peach tree. It's blooming very nicely. Last year, it had quite a bit of fruit on it, but they were small and they never got big and uh, they just didn't ripen up. And so they just stayed small and green. So a couple days ago, we pruned it, cut off a, a lot of the growth and we're really hoping that we get some good peaches this year from that tree. We'll see. But that's not the only tree we're gonna have. We're actually gonna be planting some trees. I wanna show you over here what we're gonna be doing and working on today. Right here, you can see I've lined up the stakes where our fruit trees are gonna go. We're not gonna be planting them in an ordinary way. We're gonna be planting them according to the Allen White method, which is a three by three foot hole and then you put compost and organic materials in it, a layer of rocks, and uh, yeah, it's quite a process, but I think it's gonna be worth it. It's supposed to really increase the yield and the growth, especially in the first couple years. But a three by three foot is a little bit difficult to dig by hand, especially because we have, uh, I think, 17 trees that we're gonna be planting here and some bushes and stuff, and the fence, and I got another project as well. So we had to rent a piece of heavy equipment. Here we have a mini excavator that uh, we rented because the rocky soil here in Arkansas is hard to dig through. I imagine we're gonna hit some rocks as we are digging, but it's gonna make the job a lot easier. I think really it's gonna be worth it to, to rent this for a day. To, to do all the projects that we have to do to 
to get the fence post in and get the holes for the trees since we're going to be planting them so uh, so deep. All right, we ran into a little bit of a problem. We're supposed to have a, a, a hole that is three feet deep by three feet wide, but uh, here in Arkansas, there's a lot of rocks. So we uh, hit rocks almost right away. So we're going to probably have to dig it a little bit wider. That's about as deep as we got before we hit a rock. And not just a rock, like a whole mountain. What are you, what are you doing? We're, um, we're, we are dumping all this dirt in here, so we're making a big puddle of, um, water so we can play in it. Oh. So we're pretending that's our job. All right, it is a beautiful sunny day out. We got several of our holes dug here and we ran into rocks on only one of them, surprisingly, so we're praising the Lord for that. But uh, we have, it looks like, three, six more holes to dig. Uh, Mattis is a young man that has joined us for Ger from Germany. He came to be a part of the evangelism program, but uh, that's, you know, obviously that has kind of changed a little bit. So now his, uh, Education is getting an education in uh, country living. All right, Mattis, what are you doing? Just digging some holes. Digging some holes. You ever you ever operated one of these things before? Oh no. How is it? Before. It's fun actually. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> You gonna change your uh, career? <laughs> yeah, can, can I? Uh, can you hire me? <laughs> I don't know if I have enough work for you. Uh, we, we'll find some, I guess. <laughs> There's always, there is always work to do around here. Right, right. <laughs> How is it? Is it hard to learn? Well, yeah, it's hard to get into it, but I guess it gets better. Yeah. <laughs> gets easier. Yeah. Right. Cool. All right, we had a full day of work. It's uh, getting towards the evening here, and I think we're about to call it quits. As you can see, I got quite a bit of sun. Today was probably the sunniest day in a while. But we got a lot of work done. Got all the holes dug for the trees, for the blueberries, and for the raspberries, and our fence post. Even Jerry came, and he uh, dug, or I should say disked, the, uh, the garden spot, got it all tilled up and dissed up and a couple other little things around the, the place that I need to do for like drainage and stuff like that. So I think tomorrow we're going to get back at it and uh, try to get this fence done. All right, it is now the next day and uh, I'm standing in what looks to be a minefield. And uh, I want to show you a couple things as we get started with our day today. Got uh, quite a few things to do. Here you can see we dug all of our holes, including this trench right here, which is going to run a water line. That's our old water line sticking up right there. But uh, it's going to run from the, the new water line we put in last November. Going to put a faucet here to uh, water our trees and all of our plants that we're going to be planting. Today, we're going to be trying to get this fence done and put in a couple of gates. I have an old gate from our neighbor that uh, we didn't have to purchase. 
There's our fencing material. We're gonna be putting around the outside of the fence. And there's our two posts that we're gonna attach our gate to and we're gonna set it in concrete. Okay, so we have our gate posts set in concrete. And uh, once that dries, we'll put on the hardware to hook up the gate. And we'll have to put a post over there for where it closes. And then uh, Raul is over there putting the fence posts in. And once we get all of our fence posts, we can start putting in our fencing material. All right, that's it. We got uh, the fence in, got the garden spot fenced off, and uh, I'm pretty worn out. It's Friday after afternoon, so need to go inside and get ready for our weekly Friday night Bible study. Hope that uh, you can join that. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, we're gonna try to make some more videos about what it's like living in the country and some of the projects that we have. Uh, certainly we'll keep you updated on the fruit trees and as we plan our garden and possibly all the way through the harvest. So hopefully you enjoy this type of content and hopefully it's a blessing to you. And most of all, I hope it inspires you that uh, you can get out to the country, uh, you can grow your own provisions, you can uh, do these sorts of things. And so just wanna encourage you to really seriously pray about that. And uh, yeah, if, if that's on your heart, I know God will provide a way for you.